Hi everyone, this is Frank Tamora, May 22nd, 2013. You know, some months ago it was brought to our attention that Saeed, American pastor, was in Iran and he was taken because of his faith and he's still in prison. And I know over the course of months many people stopped praying and I am guilty of myself. You get caught up in what you're doing, you're so busy and you forget your priorities and what's really important. And the Lord showed me today that not only I need to continually pray, but to encourage as many Christians around the world is to pray for Saeed's release. And so Fox News had an article today that I wanted to bring to your attention because it really touched my heart. And you'll see prayers from prison American pastor held in Iran uh, releases letter. And this is a picture of Saeed. Says an American pastor jailed in Iran for his Christian faith has managed to get a letter out to his global supporters thanking them for their prayers while confirming the brutality of his conditions. Saeed Abenadine, the 33 year old Idaho resident serving an eight year prison term in Tehran's infamous Ivan Prison, passed the letter to family members who were permitted to visit him after several weeks of isolation. The letter was passed to Identity's wife, Negme, who is at the Boise uh, area home with their two children and unable to visit her husband in fear of being arrested herself. I heard that the persecution, my, I heard that pers the persecution, my arrest, the imprisonment has united churches from different denominations from different cities and countries that would never come together because their differences, I Benedine wrote. You don't know how happy I was in the Lord and rejoice knowing that in my chains the body of Christ has chained together and is brought to action and prayer. Abenedine signed the letter with many thanks for your continued and faithful prayer, servant of our Lord and chains, Jesus Christ, Saeed. Now it goes on to say that Abenedine has been held at a brutal prison for 238 days, enduring long stints of solitary confinement and, according to his supporters, beatings and torture at the hands of his jailers and fellow inmates. And for months he has been suffering from serious injuries, including internal bleeding and beating with no proper uh, beatings with no proper medication, medical uh, attention, according to his family and his attorneys. More than a decade ago, Benedict began working as a Christian leader in the community organized or organizer, developing Iran's underground home church communities for Christian converts who are forbidden from praying in public churches. He was arrested in 2009 but released after pledging to stop formally organizing house churches in Iran. And when he returned to Iran last year to help build a state-run secular orphanage, Iran, Iranian police pulled him off a bus and imprisoned him. And obviously he's been there ever since. And so, please, let's not forget our brother in the Lord who, you know, when you read this letter and he's, he's filled with joy knowing that what happened to him is joining the church together, praying in unity. This is a true blessing and it shows how faithful of a, of a servant Saeed really is. And so I, this video is just to help and try to encourage those who may have forgotten because we're so busy in life to remember Saeed in prayer and ask the Lord that he would do some mighty miracle to release our brother from the prison in Iran.